custodian assumes no liability and is without liability of any kind for acting in accordance with the authenticated instructions, except the custodian's failure to exercise ordinary care. By providing a bond security to government obligations in lieu of blah, 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 we don't need to know that. That's not the part that we're looking for. Let's do C. Absent authentication instruction for the bond official related to the proceeds mature government obligations, the custodian will release the obligor proceed, proceeds from mutual government obligations only if the obligor is, has deposited government obligations accepted under 31 blah, 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 as amended. It's up to uh, liquidation of government obligations. No, nope. application of proceeding, liquidation of government obligation. This is not the section. It is supposed to be 0.7, but we're not looking for that. We're not looking for this one. So we're going to have to find the other one that actually specifically talks about the Federal Reserve. I think we might be looking at uh, not number seven. I think we might be looking at definition. I think this is the part where it talked about the custodian. So this is 225.2. We're going to go to not bond, don't care about book entries. We care about custodian. This is the definition for custodian, OK? means the Federal Reserve Bank, entity of the United States, designated Federal Reserve Bank. OK, now let's look at what the depository stands for, OK? Any insured bank as defined in Section 3 of the Federal Deposit Insurance Act, or any bank which is eligible to make application to become an insured bank under Section 5 of this such act. A mutual savings bank, a savings bank, a insured credit union. OK, let's go on. These are all the custodians, the same as I told you all earlier. 